Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N R. Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here, practicing to take the GRE general test, 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. It has seven exams. This is what you want to practice for practice from to get ready for the test. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 136 quantitative comparison question number 10. Let's take a look at it. Number 10. There we go. We are told that x squared times y is positive. We are also told that x times y squared is negative. And we are asked to compare x and y. Well, you could plug in numbers and so forth, which I would probably do if you want me to do that. But let's, let's talk about it for a second. You see this x squared quantity. Because it's squared, this is always going to be positive. It doesn't matter what x is, whether x is positive or negative, it's always going to be a positive quantity. And again, it doesn't matter whether it's a whole number or not. The, co the point is, it's a positive quantity because if, if x is negative, negative times negative, it becomes positive. A squared is always a positive quantity. So this is positive, and then I'm told that x squared times y is more than zero. But if this is positive, the only way this whole quantity can be more than zero is if also y is positive. That's the only way. So the y has to be positive. So we have determined that the y has to be positive because if y were negative, if y were negative, this quantity is positive, positive times negative would be negative, it cannot be more than zero. So we have determined that the y is positive. So that means this quantity is positive. And then I'm told that x times y squared, which is a positive quantity now, is less than zero. The only way the product of two quantities can be negative is, is when one of those two quantities is negative. Because if they were both negative, it would become positive again. So because this is positive again, that implies that x would have to be negative. There we go. X would have to be negative. Answer is, answer is B. That's it. And that's all there is. Now if you wish, if you wish, you could plug in numbers if, if that's what you want. Uh, I shouldn't have taken up all this room. I should have done it on half the blackboard. Let me, let me do it with the plugging in numbers now, if you like, on the bottom. S, x, x squared and x times y squared. Let's plug in 2 and 3. 2 squared times 3, of course, is more than 0. So then y is 3, you put in 3 here, 3 squared, and then our x was 2, but you see, that doesn't work. This quantity is not less than 0. We are told that x times y squared has to be less than 0. That tells, and I can, all, I can clearly see that regardless of what y is, whether, whether y is positive or negative, this quantity y squared is going to be positive. The only way this, can, this, this x times y squared can be less than 0, negative quantity, is when x is negative. There you go. So we have to go back and put an x negative here, but that makes no difference here because whether it's positive 2 or negative 2, x squared is always positive. So negative 2 squared is a positive quantity, times 3 is more than 0, of course, and 3 squared times the negative 2 is, is less than 0. Now it is, now it is less than 0. Now it works. So as you can see, we are asked to compare x versus y. x works out to be negative 2, y works out to be 3. The answer is b, as we had already determined before. As we had already determined that y is positive, and y is positive, and we had determined that x was negative. x is negative. x squared is positive, but x is negative. As we can see now. Yes, that's all there is. So you can plug in number or you can just think logically about it and it, it makes sense. I hope, I hope you found this helpful. If you wish to hire my services for personal private tutoring, face-to-face -face tutoring, or if you wish to buy the solution manuals, 
or if you wish to talk to me about anything at all uh, regarding the GRE, uh, go to my website at www.prep, P-R-E-P, prep, F-O-R-4, G-R-E, dot com and send me an email. All right, and we'll talk. Thanks.